Hi, welcome to another video for SunnersVideo.com. My name is Simon Tay, and today I'm going to do another top iPhone 5 jailbreak tweets for the iOS 6.1. Okay, the first Cydia application that I'd like to recommend is Multi Icon Movers. Install that in Cydia, and it's a free application. You can actually move multiple icons, but not folders, multiple icons, by pressing and holding and check at the bottom right of the icons, and then move one of the icons to another home screen before pressing the home button, and you move the rest of the icons. Uh, this I really hope Apple will implement in the future iOS version to so that you can actually easily arrange uh, hundreds and hundreds of icons. The next uh, CD application I'd like to recommend is Barrel. Barrel is a paid application in CD. Uh, you can actually change the animation effects when you move from home screen to home screen and this is a cube inside animation as you can see it's no longer the uh, boring side to side animation but instead you can actually change to um, many many others type of animation for example this cube from the outside and this is one of the best uh, CD application that I recommend highly recommend people to install uh, definitely hopefully uh, you know Apple will take a look on this uh, CD application and implement of course to the iOS 7 in the future and I really hope there is a market uh, like a teaming market for the iOS uh, much like the application market uh, that has been opened up such a big market in the iOS that can allow people to create such a, a application to team the iOS interface and let the developer have a cut of of the you know the downloads to uh, modify this uh, the teaming option and of course a control by Apple so that there, there'll be less conflicts the next uh, application is Zepho. Zepho actually use a uh, gesture using one finger to um, do the multitasking much like the iPad using the five fingers but this is one single fingers you can actually switch from different application to different application that is uh, currently running at the background and which is a very very interesting way of uh, you know multitasking uh, and you can also swipe up to you know close the application or you can swipe up and swipe out again to uh, see your multitasking application uh, at the bottom which is uh, basically eliminating the use of the home button and to prevent accidental usage you can choose two fingers instead of one to uh, you know trigger this uh, swiping action gesture to switch application or close application or swipe up to the multitasking you can also disable in certain application however it's been a little bit buggy for me while i'm testing it the next uh, application is uh, Swipe Selection. One word is a free app that allows you to use the keyboard uh, and you know touch the keyboard just like a mouse pad to move the cursor around. This is a very very cool way of editing, like uh, choosing the position that you want to move instead of pressing and holding on the text and find the place using this magnifying glass. You can just swipe across the keyboard. This I really hope Apple will implement in the next iOS uh, seven. The next cool application is NC Colors. NC Colors allow you to change the color of your notification center. For example, you can change the red a little bit, red color. You can swipe down and see the notification center is actually red in color. I, I, I personally prefer black color. You can also change the blur of the background of the notification center. If you turn on blur, so you can actually focus more on the notification center text instead. And the next one is NC Settings. It's another free uh, toggle widgets. That that allows you to toggle some system settings like the for example the volume control the brightness the uh, location gps the volume the um, you know do not disturb on and off i actually prefer nc settings because it blends very well into the notification center so that it does not stuck out like a sore thumb and it does not use an additional swipe on the uh, status bar like the sps setting however it does have the downside it does not have additional toggles that you can actually install uh, like for example the sps setting that uh, they can actually install additional toggles like the q or background uh, application uh, triggers that this uh, nc settings does not have well, basically that's it for this top iPhone 5 jailbreak tweets for the iOS 6.1 and I hope you really like this video and remember to comment in the comment section below for what you like and what you do not like and of course what other serial tweets that you really like me to give it a test and of course remember to subscribe to this channel at youtube.com slash 7 days on it and of course share to people who really wants to jailbreak well thank you very much for watching Simon's video have a nice day see ya bye bye
to support for this podcast, please visit simonvideo.com for more podcasts and application reviews. Thank you very much.